Good morning, it's the Jeffrey G Show. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Go ahead, picture. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it like a polar what picture. Lucy Lou. Outcast, everyone. Good morning. I thought I'd play a little Outcast and end with a little Outcast since we haven't heard from them lately. Great group. This is my little... Oh, because it's hot in South Florida today. It's like 95 and rainy and humid and gross. And I'm sticky. So good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, August 8th, 2013. Welcome to the Jeffrey G Show with my co-host, Dutchie. Let's get right into G-Spot news, shall we? Tamika Raymond, ex-wife of singer Usher, um, wants her children back and blames Usher for their young son's pool accident that landed him near death in the ICU. Tamika filed for emergency custody claim and she won. So she now has custody of Usher's kids that they fought so hard for before due to this. Temporary, but they're going to go back to court now. It's going to have to re, be redone all over again, I bet. It's a shame. Actor Harrison Ford is stepping in to play a new character in The Expandables 3, replacing Bruce Willis, who will not be in the third installment. So, after eight seasons of NCIS... Cora de Pablo um, tells uh, Latina Magazine that she feels like she is leaving her family. Um, it's been nearly 20 years since actors Meryl Streep and Robert De Niro starred in a film together. They are finally reuniting in the film adaptation of Anne Leary's best-selling novel, The Good House. Can't wait, that should be really good. Uh, the late James Gandolfini gives one of his final performances in the film Enough uh, Sad, which debuts in theaters September 20th. Sad. Actor Luke Wilson, brother of Owen Wilson, filmed a scene for the movie Ride in L.A. on Tuesday with a surfboard in hand. Okay, and uh, we got to watch what we say nowadays because Big Brother contestant Spencer Clausen just learned um, a valuable lesson about making jokes. He uh, joked about child porn and cops came and probed him over uh, the child porn jokes and it's not too smart. You don't joke about things like that. I don't even joke about things like that and I joke about everything. Hulk Hogan told TMZ he is developing a movie about his life, and he will not be starring in it, and he is looking for someone to play him. Um, I hope that's a uh, made-for-TV movie, because it will not do well in theaters. Um, B. Scott, an openly gay transgender, um, is suing BET, claiming the network yanked um, him off the BET awards because he was dressed as a woman. Lawsuit, like I said, everything's a lawsuit these days. Leonardo DiCaprio got to try the water jet packs. Um, I always see it by work, but you put these jet packs on, and they lift you up in the air, and you're like 20 feet in the air in the ocean. And, of course, he was in Iberia with a beautiful woman. Go, Leonardo. You know you're lucky. Um, and some sad news this morning... Margaret Pellegrini reportedly died yesterday at the age of 89 years old due to a stroke near Phoenix, Arizona. And she was one of the last munchkins from the Wizard of Oz. Follow the Elbert Road. Follow the, follow the, follow the, follow the, follow the Elbert Road. Um, people are saying Lady Gaga's new song is awful. 
Uh, it's not released yet. It might be leaked on the internet. I haven't heard it, so I can't voice my opinion, but I'm going to try to find it right after the show. Um, not a surprise, but Nicki Minaj is fighting with a rapper um, named Redkin, who frequently worked with Nicki on several songs. Um, Nicki went ballistic on him, telling him to get off her metaphysical penis. Because his new song lyrics say, Before Nicki was wearing those crazy wigs, I was writing songs for her. I would get a little, you know, annoyed about that, too. We all know people write songs for people. And producers and writers write the talk shows. Except for mine, because I write, predict, produce, and direct. Thank you very much. Anyway, Michael Phelps admits to peeing in the Olympic pools. Um, he was asked and admitted it. He says, we all do it. Do we? I know when I'm in a pool, I pee in it. Like, most of the time. Because I'm too lazy to get out, or I don't want to dry off and go inside and go to the bathroom. If it's a big enough pool. Um, and I always pee in the ocean. But I live in Florida and haven't been to the ocean. And I work on it, in like, for years. So, more James Gandolfini news. This is disgusting. Uh, when he died in Rome, someone stole his $3,000 Rolex. Um, an insurance claim has been filed by his wife. So, could you imagine either finding him dead or realizing he's dead and going through his hotel room and stealing a Rolex, really? That's like the lowest. Uh, Lindsay Lohan had a sober night last night without Dina, but with the rest of the family. They all went, um, and hung out, and then... It was Michael, Allie, and brother Michael Jr. And they went bowling and then had Japanese. No alcohol involved. So Sandlot star Tom Gurry, I don't know if you remember that movie, The Sandlot, the baseball movie. Well, he was arrested for headbutting a police officer in the face at a Houston airport. What is wrong with people? I mean, I have no patience, but I'm not going to headbutt somebody. All righty. So, Dwayne Wade's sons honor Trayvon Martin in Ebony Magazine cover as they are all wearing hoodies. It'll be out in September as the issue, which is, I think, already on newsstands. Alrighty, and suspected California abductor that woke up celebrities, as I told you yesterday, um, about the Amber Alert on the iPhones. Well, the two missing girls were found dead in a burned rural house um, outside of California. So that's sad news. But it's important. Those Amber Alerts are important because you find the make of the car, the license plate, the kid's description. And normally if everyone you know looks, you find them in minutes, hopefully. But every, I'm not sure of the statistics, uh, statistics but mostly everyone that gets kidnapped ends up getting killed. So, uh, let's watch out for our kids, everybody. Yesterday in Brooklyn, Jackie Robinson's statue and teammate Pee Wee Reese was covered with derogatory messages and vandalized words and phrases like the N-word, effing N. Uh, very unacceptable, and I hope they find the person that did this. Okay, so no worries for the cast of the Dancing with the Stars. I know Mark Ballas was very nervous. Uh, Paula Dean turned down the offer to appear on the show. She is seeking a better forum for a possible comeback. The only way Paula Dean can come back... Are you listening, Paula? Hello? Right here. The only way you can come back is if Oprah endorses you. Okay? And I don't think she will. So, Taylor Swift tells E her must-have fall fashion would be a good pair of velvet shoes. That's Duke behind the scenes. He gets a little annoyed. All right, Tracy Morgan shows off his adorable newborn daughter, Maven, in New York City. And come to find out late 
Oh, I told you that. But late last night, I found out about the custody with Usher, and I wrote it down here as well. Um, oh, and listen to this. Leanne Rimes and Eddie Cibrian are going to have their own reality show. What happened to, like, real actors? I mean, I would do a reality show in a second, but... Alrighty, so today I decided to do the top 10 famous gay celebrities as of today. Um, I don't necessarily agree with this list, but I'll read it anyway. <laughs> Number 10, Garrett Thomas. He plays in sports. Number 9, Cynthia Nixon. He was in Sex in the City. 8, Chris Colfer from Glee. 7, Jane Lynch. 6, Neil Patrick Harris. 5, Jamie Hensley. Union J Boy Band in the UK. Um, four, Russell Toby. He won X Factor in the UK. Three, Frank Ocean. Two, Ricky Martin. And number one, Ellen DeGeneres and Portia de Rossi. I love me some Ellen. Love me some Ellen. So, daily talk. Here we go. Last night, I felt like I was getting, like, sick. I had a fever. My nose was, like, runny and stuffy. I think it was allergies, because this morning, I'm like... All right, it's really hard. Like, when you work out in the sun all day, then you come home. The sun really drains you and really dehydrates you. And especially when you drink a lot of coffee. So... It was awful. Like, so... Anyways, I got home from work, I took a nap, went to Publix, then I went to go pick up dinner at one of our restaurants, Red Cow, and my scooter wouldn't start, so I have to go today, hopefully it'll start, and I have to go to the scooter place to get it fixed, I think that's my battery now, which is annoying, and I have no money to do that, and yesterday was just a weird day, like, it felt like I worked so hard at work, Dave and I, and we didn't make that much money, and we saved the whole day, so, I don't know, it's just one of those weird days, um, but I cannot wait to work Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and Monday, because I need money, and then season will be here, you know, October, and I'll start making the loot again, unless Shark Tank picks me, Shark Tank people, alrighty, so... I am tired today, but I have a lot to do, like make my bed. Anyway, yesterday my views were 13,656, um, coming from 13,298, so I had 358 views yesterday. I don't know where this is coming from, but it's awesome. Keep it up, people. Uh, so I was watching um, TV last night, and um, I was watching Weeds again. And um, one of the characters said, just pray to God and play the lotto and you'll be fine. So that's what I did. Now I'm, I have to go to the store and check my lotto ticket because it was like the Mega Millions or the Powerball. It was like 400 million or something. Yo, I'll even take $20, okay? So, um, so last night I'm talking to my mom and when I don't feel good, I'm not in the mood. And, you know, she gives me her critiques on the show. And she said, sometimes, like, when you say jokes, you say them under your breath and we can't hear them. I said, okay, thank you for letting me know. And then she said, what show did you watch? Glee? I said, no, Weeds. We, what? I, I'm like, Mom, Weeds. W-E-E-D-S. Like, smoking weed. Weeds. And she goes, oh, Weeds. Okay. I thought you said Glee. And I was like, what? No, Mom. And then she'll be like, what, what did you say at this point? Or who was that that you were talking about? I don't remember. Eight hours later. And she should know that because she tells me the same stories over and over again. But she leaves, like, important stories out. Like, someone's pregnant, someone died. But she'll be, like, telling me the same stories. Mama G. People say at work, because when they went, came down, that me and her are identical. We are we're social butterflies. Alrighty, so last night the dogs didn't end up going on their nightly walk because Dutch is just effing lazy. Look at him, just a lazy man. 
and Duke had a seizure and uh, it lasted like seven minutes. It's like the worst thing in my life. And I had to hold him and I just rubbed his belly and let him know that I was there for him. So I got to take him to the vet like next week to get seizure medicine. So people are afraid that I'm going to say things on the show. Careful, buddy. Um, so they're afraid to say things around me. So, I normally talk about myself, so you really shouldn't be too worried. But I probably will talk about you on the show, so. Just a little FYI. And the reason why the show's out so late is because I had to watch The View, because today was Joy Behar's last day. Wah, 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 Joy Behar. So, Joy, congratulations and good luck on your future endeavors. Um, and that's all I got for you today. Say hi to somebody. Um, my Dutch is getting a little anxious because he sees people walking across the studio. So, say hi to someone today. Hi, Pia. Love you again. Hi, Mama G. Love you. Hi, Kristen and Lou. Can't wait to see you when you come down. Hi, Jake. Do you still watch the show? Uh, Amy and Vinny. How we doing? All right, everyone have a great, totally excellent, awesome day. And we're going to end out with more Outcast, I think. But a different song for all of those people out there that think that they're better than everyone else. Well, I got something to tell you. <laughs> to think that you don't stay. Just lean a little bit closer because those roses really smell like poo ooh, ooh. Roses really smell like poo ooh, ooh. No, you like to think your sh** don't stain But lean a little bit closer Cause the flowers really smell like poo ooh, ooh. Them roses really smell like poo ooh, ooh. We all pull our pants down and poop the same Have a great, totally excellent, awesome day Love Jeffrey G, bye